Hello everybody and welcome to this short screencast about uh, the semantic knowledge base web part for SharePoint. This screencast will uh, give you an example of how to make use of uh, this web part which is based on uh, SCOS, Desauri and RDF knowledge graphs. Um, so what is it good for? In front of you, you see um, an example of a knowledge base, which is about cocktails in that uh, case. So down here, you get a tree view, which uh, shows which categories of items are available. So for instance, you see several drinkwares, uh, for instance, um, the champagne stemware or a cocktail shaker and things like that. Um, further up you see different cocktail garnishes, for instance a drinking straw um, and so on and so forth. Um, on the right side you see uh, in a detailed overview what's related to this certain concept you uh, were looking up. So for instance a drinking straw has um, first of all a picture, a preferred label, some alternative labels, also known as synonyms. Um, it, it has a broader term uh, and related terms. Um, so for instance, it's um, related with uh, Bloody Mary. And down here you see a definition and other metadata like who was the creator and when was the concept created. So if you click on Bloody Mary, for instance, again, you get a picture, uh, synonyms and so on and so forth. So the whole idea is to make knowledge available of a certain domain and the whole architecture is um, an interplay between the pool party Desauros manager. So that's the environment in which you create the knowledge graph um, and the web part in the SharePoint server. So that's the web part in the SharePoint server and in that case it's mainly good for browsing, exploring and searching over the knowledge graph. Of course, it could be extended also with um, facilities to edit certain um, parts of the knowledge graph uh, in a, let's say, more collaborative way in the sense of a crowdsourcing mechanism. But the usual setup is to have a pool party Desauros manager installed in which you can um, extend the knowledge graph, edit the knowledge graph. For instance, you would like to um, search for Bacardi and Bacardi here has several alternative names. As you can see, um, those can be deleted or edited. Um, you have broader concepts, narrow concepts and related concepts. Um, and also definitions. And it's linked to um, a publicly available uh, knowledge graph called TPpedia. And from there, you can further extend the knowledge around this certain concept. And exactly this is the source which is used uh, by this application. So, for instance, if you start to uh, search for a term up here, uh, it actually will. Uh, make a query over the pool party server. So let's go for one. S um, didn't know that uh, Cyclone is an alternative name for Bacardi. Okay, let's search for Cyclone and it will give you the auto suggestion of Bacardi. And here we go. So that's um, um, how it works. And then you can, as I've uh, pointed out before, browse around. So that's the main uh, functionalities of this web part. Um, it's multilingual, it has advanced search features. So for instance, you can uh, search only in the preferred label or also in the synonyms or, or even in the hidden labels and descriptions. So that's something you can set up here. So that was the example just before. If you have a certain synonym you will still find the corresponding concept. And you can also filter a certain uh, criteria. Let's say it's I'm only interested in um, Italian um, um, distilled beverages. 
So here I get Crapa, I get Italian liqueurs, and here I get all the Italian liqueurs like Amaretto, Aperol, Campari, and so on and so forth. So that's another way how to um, browse the knowledge graph. Here's the tree view, here's the list view, and up here you get the uh, breadcrumb navigation. And in addition to that, you can search, as I've showed before, over all the different labels and synonyms of a concept. Yeah, and if you want, uh, you can even display concepts on a map. So let's say I'm interested in Austrian cocktails or at least drinks. You will find, okay, there's Jaga Day, for instance, or Vodka Red Bull, and you can display that on a map. So here you can see, okay, ah, there's Austria. Um, so certain concepts um, can have such a uh, geographical location, or for instance, if you're interested um, in where the Bermudas are located and which drinks are related to it, you will find aha, uh -huh, Bacardi. Bacardi is headquartered in this country and it's um, somewhere in the middle of nowhere in the North Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, so that's um, this web part called semantic knowledge base it's part of the semantic sp bundle we offer um, and if you're interested in further details please visit our website www.semantic-sharepoint.com and we would be happy if we could give you a demo on top of your own knowledge graph okay thanks a lot for your attention and hear you soon. Bye-bye.